G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Back out today with the Nature Hike Vic 2 tent and I'm going to be doing a whole day out and an overnighter with the temperatures dropping to about a 3 degrees centigrade. So I want to see how bad the condensation is in this tent that uh, people have said does occur. Uh, let's find out.
This is another thing you can do with this one, which is really handy, I like. Instead of just having your pegged out like this, little shade bit underneath for your vestibule, the vestibule on the Nature Hike Vic 2, you can actually put up as a proper shade. So you can get your pad, sit on the floor, And even on a rainy day, you've got shelter, so you don't have to sit inside the tent all the time. Or you could use this, sit in your tent, and cook your meal outside. Plenty of space in between. Nice and easy. Now I only brought one walking pole with me today, which is holding this one up. So I've got a stick. Just pegged it out. So if you're going to be doing this, you're going to need a couple of extra pegs and a couple of extra guy lines. So the 11 pegs that come with it won't support this so you're going to need up to 15 if you want to go and do this on both sides one on this side and the other side does the same but it's really nice so how far back I can go so I'm sitting all the way back and I'm protected all of me so if it's raining nothing too heavy I could just sit here and enjoy a copper at night time, in the tent, cold night, it's going to be getting down to about 3 degrees centigrade. Uh, I didn't do much filming after I showed the little porch mode. Uh, a lot more people turned up at the bush camp than I am. Some really good people, really good night. So, I'm going to get in the sleeping bag, which I'm testing out, and the sleep mat too which I'm testing out which is a insulated one and a pillow also I'm testing tonight so that's four things oh and the torch I'm using now in my hand I'll be doing a review of that soon because it's really good so I'll see you in the morning okay back at the same spot put the tent back up and I'll continue showing you There we go. Tent's back up. So let's start again. Yeah, I've put the tent up. I haven't pegged all the corners out. But what I have noticed is there's an ant's nest decided to move in over the last two days. I left here yesterday morning and they've moved in overnight. So I want to keep the tent up to dry it out because I packed it way wet. But it doesn't look too bad so let's see how long it takes to dry out so let's go over the extra features we seen these extra tie out points I saw the metal rings in between the two poles or where the poles come together I set that out the other night thinking it was going to be a windy night and we had nothing it was actually still not a gentle breeze or anything whatsoever but it did make the tent look nice having it all pulled out along the bottom here all the way over along here where the top air vent is that first one was the bottom air vent On the little toggle part where you hold the second part of your door open along the second one here the bottom air, air vent sorry across the bottom air vent and again along the top one you might be able to see it it's reflective which i didn't even know until saturday night when i was out here pointed the torch over this way and somebody says oh look your tent's glowing I've never seen that mentioned in any other video yet so far so 
There you go, there's a first. And if it has been mentioned, I missed it. The top pole here, when I showed the first video of this, I showed you it had to be clipped in. But if you put this end through there and it's out the other side, there's no need for clipping, there's no strain on that top bit, it just goes through nice and easy and sits there and holds your tent right out. As you can see it's still a bit wet, decent in, in the sunshine. I couldn't say much about another ant, so here's the ant's nest right down here. So I'll probably end up with some of my legs, and as I said, that there is one. That's okay. Yeah, like I said, the ventilation. I could feel the cool air at both the top and bottom ones, but because there was no breeze at all, I couldn't feel anything flowing through. So we had condensation. It didn't get to the point where it was dripping on me. Maybe if it was raining and a bit windy, it would have sh shaken down on me. Or if we had a bit of wind blowing through, we may not have got as much condensation, if any at all. Because the location of these air vents, nearly every single direction you get wind, it's going to hit at least two of the vents. So. Coming from the side here, if the wind blows, you've got the bottom vent all the way around. So that's going to catch most of the breeze on this side. And the same up here, there's the bottom one. Again, you can catch the breeze coming in all the way around. And you have the second top air vent which is going to catch the breeze again, similar to the first one, from about this angle, as you can see in, all the way around. And if you get a nice flow, you can see straight through and out the other side. So that's going to draw a lot of the hot air out, the condensation. Uh, slowly drying. The inside I've wiped down but you can see through here there's still condensation in there. There's me, oh, there's me Polly. There he is. I'm trying to open the door one. Yeah we've got the condensation in there. No, we'll give it a whirl. We don't have any rain forecast for now and there's a gentle breeze and the sun's catching it. So hopefully that will dry out the tent a bit more. See the flap here blowing up? There's a breeze coming now, it's blowing that up. The whole idea of that, if you didn't see my last video, is when it rains and if the wind's blowing it that way, the wind's going to be blowing that up, the rain's going to hit that and stop it going into your mesh and falling inside your tent. Which I think is a very clever idea. I haven't seen that before until now. Or I should say on this tent. You have your magnetic little door closers here. I'll show you that on the other side. Here's your weather flap going all the way down. There's your magnetic closer on it. Same at the bottom. Instead of you struggling to try and get your valve as you're closing the door, that just yeah that, that just goes in. If that's up there, give it a flick and it comes over. That's I mean the flick of the inside of the tent there. They flick the inside of the tent and over it goes. Bl bloody good idea that one. <laughs> Here's my hook. Let's hook that down there. Let's 
still see droplets of water on the inside of the door. Like I said, we'll give it half an hour or so to dry out. And then I'll do the same with the ground sheet when the tent's not on it. So now, after sleeping in it, and if only for one night, but it was a cold night, I was happy with it. I, I think it's more of a summer tent than a winter tent. And you've got the fresh air, no rain, no humidity. Yeah, I, I won't be using this one in the winter because of that. Even that little bit of condensation. That falling on if I use my down top quilt. Yeah, that could help towards ruining the top quilt the down top quilt or anything that I've got in there so if I carry any of the other sleeping bags I've got most of them I've got a water uh, proof or water repellency on the outside so that wouldn't be too bad and the tent itself yeah uh, it, it's, it's a win it, it's not a winter tent as far as I'm concerned I still prefer my bivy for the winter and the tarp, but no, it's it is a good tent. I really do like it. I will be using it again. I will try it out in over the winter here in Australia, which some does get below the zeros. It goes down into the freezing, the negatives, the minus. So we'll see how that goes and with a bit of breeze hopefully there'll be less condensation. Now this is only pegged out with four pegs. The ones to pull out the air vents at either end and one on either side to hold the vestibule doors open. And you've got a nice taut pitch. If you pegged out this side, you'll see that it will become a little bit, but not much difference. Get off end. Yeah, there won't be much difference when you peg them out in the sense of the setup. So it's a smart design. Plenty of room in there. I, I had my uh, regular sleep mat. I had my pack in there. I had everything out of my pack. I had my boots in there and I still had space to spare so yeah if you're going to be using this in warmer weather one it'll keep all your bugs out two with a white colour it'll help reflect the heat and you've got the ventilation so you've got actual six points of ventilation if you count the two top vents the vents at either, either end and your big side doors if you have them open with just the mesh So that's the Nature Hike Vic 2 Tent Part 2. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the thumbs up button, click the bell next to it and select all and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. So until next time get out there have some fun and take care.